Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Could you tell me what you guys did for your project? Yes, so our project was um, a physical device that fits on this kid's power chair and it enables him to play sports with his friends. All right, so we worked on improving sanitation in floating communities in Cambodia. Yeah, so if you look over here, uh, we wanted to make a device uh, to penetrate the sternum. So we made a device that's portable and measures coagulation properties of blood. I mean, the showcase is a great opportunity for them to sort of, you know, present uh, themselves, present their work. And, and I think, you know, part of what we try to do in, in, in throughout the design program really is give the students the chance to present themselves in a variety of ways. Uh, you know, through uh, written documentation reports, through formal design review panels, uh, and in the end through, uh, you know, a symposium like this. So it's important for them to be able to communicate effectively in a variety of forms. And the, the showcase gives them a chance to do that and to interact with, with professionals, with industry professionals and so forth. Um, the biggest thing that I learned from our mentor is leave no stone unturned. The benefit of working in team is that everyone brings different skills and can also build off of each other's contributions. Working with clients in a different field, it was really hard to, you know, figure out what they're talking about and sort of turn that into engineering words. I understand that you're going to be traveling with the students to Cambodia to implement this design. Could you tell us a little about that? Yes, the students um, all wrote grants to the Blum Center and uh, luckily our students all placed in that and were able, are unable to travel there for a whole month and actually implement this design in Cambodia. I'm going to join them for the first two weeks to help them get started. Uh, what about this project made it um, innovative and unique with regards to the military and its application to it? This project is uh, really interesting because it, it takes um, the measurement of kind of blood clotting uh, factors, parameters, um, and, and brings that closer to the point of care, or closer to where it may be useful in guiding diagnostic decisions. In this case, let's say on a battlefield or with wounded soldiers. Uh, the idea behind the project these guys are doing is that you know, they want to have a robust sort of device that's able to measure blood clotting and to bring that closer to the point where diagnostic decisions can be made earlier uh, to guide, let's say, pre-surgical planning for a wounded soldier. Uh, so we actually got a patent on the project earlier this week, so we are currently patent pending. Our client uh, would like to either sell the IP or license the uh, patent, and then a lot of us are looking to get jobs. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great project, guys.